Alrighty, so so far here's the cover. Uh, I really like the purple. I'm not going to mess with it any further. I'm not adding any other colors. There's very different shades of purples in there, and I really like that. I've also decided that I'm not going to mess with the pen, uh, with the uh, star. I'm going to leave it the way it is with the colors. Uh, I also did paint inside of the uh, around the edges with the purple. The paint got in here around the edges so that I got that. I don't know the way the light is. Anyway, there we go. That and the inside cover here. So uh, one thing I am going to do is take this black pipe cleaner made a circle out of it and I'm gonna glue it right here around the star so that I can make a nice pinnacle so I'll get that taken care of alrighty so this is where we're at uh, it's painted uh, I've got the outside the way I want it I have my pinnacle placed on it I decided I would keep the um, the pipe cleaners the colors and I added a black circle to create the pinnacle on the inside is still open and we're not going to do anything with that right now so what I'm going to do now is I, as I said before I am going to add this leather strap here and one over here and I'm going to hold them together with these clasps to bind the book together or the covers I should say but right now we're going to head into the kitchen and we're going to work on another piece of this project alright so we are back in the kitchen I've got some water uh, on to boil and it is uh, straight from the ground straight from the ground right up into our house so it's as natural as it's going to get. I have a ream of paper. There may be a few pieces missing, but this is pretty much 500 sheets of paper. And I have some tea. We're using cranberry apple zinger herbal tea. Uh, I love the smell of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this tea here. And it's going to go into... the pot there we go I am now making tea and if you haven't already figured it out I am going to tea stain that ream of paper and that is going to form the pages for that book so we're going to let that sit and I'll get back with you in a few alrighty so here is the cranberry apple tea which will create a nice aroma for the paper and in this one is regular tea which will help create the stain because the apple tea itself will not stain it properly but I love to have the apple smell to it I've done this many times and it's very very wonderful alright so here's a couple pages that I did with just the apple tea and as you can tell it's not gonna dry dark enough for me so I'm gonna add that to the regular tea oh much better instantly can see much better There we go. Let's 
sit right here for a moment. So it's just about midnight and Cinderella down there is going crazy, which is making Violet go crazy. So anyway, and there So here we go. And then this is what the paper looks like with the regular tea. Much, much better. So this part, like the whole book, is going to be a process. So like I said, I mixed a little bit of the apple cranberry tea so that I have the flavor and or the smell. And then I have the uh, regular tea which will create the color. So I take a regular piece of paper. I like to wad mine up because I like the crinkles in there. There we go. And then you just set it into the tea. There we go. We'll just give it a few seconds in the tea. And the good thing is, is they all turn out slightly different. The, uh, the wrinkles in the paper and the amount of tea and where the tea sticks and where it doesn't and how thick it is and how dark it gets can be quite random. So that's pretty awesome. So there we go. I'll do a couple pages for you and then I will uh, turn the camera off and just do them because it's just to repeat, crumple up the paper. Uncrumple the paper. Place the paper in the tea. We'll let it sit for a few moments. And then we pull the paper out of the tea. That's the whole process. And I'll just repeat that probably around 500 times. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these papers out and I'm going to let them dry. And it will take some time because I don't have enough of space to be setting 500 sheets of paper out to dry. But I just let them air dry. And it takes it can take a little bit of time but I'll go ahead and throw this one in there we go we'll let that sit and then I'll find a place to move all these papers as I make them so uh, I'll get right back with you